Well, hello, Internet. A lot of you guys out there have shown some interest in the foods that I eat, so I decided to share with you some low-calorie recipes that I use to drop 85 pounds in five months. What you see here is 550 calories, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make cheesecake, potato chips, mayonnaise, and sour cream. Everything is low-calorie and low-fat, and the meatless meatloaf recipe is in the description. So I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. My potato chips taste exactly like regular potato chips, except they have one-fourth the calories and no fat. My cheesecake is even better. It's only 16 calories and only has one gram of fat. My mayonnaise is only six calories and no fat, and it tastes exactly like mayonnaise. And the final recipe I'm going to show you today is a 14-calorie, zero-fat sour cream. So let's get cooking. Potato chips look just like this, and they come out to about one-eighth of an inch. And here I'm just cutting them with a regular knife, but you could use a mandolin. That would be much more efficient. Unconventionally, I then put the slices on a paper towel and microwave them on high for four minutes. As soon as they're out of the microwave, I quickly remove them, otherwise the paper towel will stick, and then I just throw them in a pan. No oil or anything else needed. I throw the chips in the oven at 400 degrees for 7 to 10 minutes, just watch until they're brown, and then I take one and a half cups of Graham crackers and I throw them in a bag and roll over them a couple times with a rolling pin until they're nice and fine. I'm then going to take either 0% fat plain yogurt, three tablespoons of that, or three tablespoons of margarine and add those to the Graham crackers in a blender. Go ahead, use the margarine. The smidge of fat you're going to get out of that is definitely worth it. I'm then going to blend, 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 and then take it out and put it in the bottom of a pan. I'm then going to take two cups of Chobani Greek yogurt. This is strawberry, zero fat, and I'm going to throw those in my blender. You, of course, can be free to put any other type of yogurt in here you want flavor-wise. I've tried a couple of them. They all turn out really good. Then add two-thirds of a cup of granulated sugar. That's two-thirds. Then add a half of a cup of egg substitute or egg beaters or whatever you prefer. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Of course, it doesn't matter what brand that you add. Now to make sure that the cheesecake is nice and thick, we're going to add three tablespoons of cornstarch. Very, very important. We are then going to, of course, blend all of this stuff up. You might have to wipe it down on the side and blend, blend, blend a couple times. And then we're going to get our graham cracker crust, and we're going to pour our mixture over top of it. And this is going to cook at 350 for approximately 30 minutes. And now I'm going to make some zero-fat mayonnaise with 0% fat plain yogurt. I'm going to get three tablespoons of that yogurt, throw it in a mixer, and then I'm going to get one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. You can use Grey Poupon or you can use pretty much anything else. Now I'm going to add a half of a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley, and then I'm going to add two teaspoons of capers. And if you say you don't like capers, try them anyway. They're really, really good. One teaspoon of garlic powder is then going to be added, and then we're going to add a dash of paprika. It's basically just going to depend upon how much you like paprika. And then we're going to blend this until everything's combined, and then you'll have 0% mayonnaise. Low-calorie, zero-fat sour cream is easy. Just get fat-free cottage cheese, get a cup of it, and then turn your blender on so the consistency is good, and then pour the cottage cheese through the spout on the top. Then get yourself one tablespoon of lemon juice and add that to the blender and everything will go sweet together and you'll have yourself some sour cream. And here is everything finished. There's the super crunchy potato chips. There's the mayonnaise. Sorry, it's not white, but it tastes like mayo. There's sour cream. And there is the final cheesecake. Sorry, it's hot. That's why I didn't pick it up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I have in the description all of the recipes as well as a link to figure out what your recommended calories are based off of height and frame size. And please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.